Hello, um, I'm Kian from Pekaran College and today I'm unboxing the Balance Bot STEM Kit for the classroom. Alright, so I've unpacked everything and now I'm going to assemble all of the electronic components and go through what each part is. This is the Balance Bot project. Already programmed and ready to go, similar to a Segway. These are all the electronic components used in the Balance Bot. First, we start with the stepper motors. These are used to drive the wheels. This is the stepper motor controller, used to control the stepper motors. This is the servo arm used for battle arms. This is the Adreno Leonardo. This is the brain. This is the battery box and the strap that attaches the battery to the brain. This is a USB cable used for programming. It is already programmed but it is open source meaning you can edit whatever you want. These are the rubber grips for the 3D printed wheels. We've downloaded the STL files needed for the 3D printed parts. We've opened them up on our 3D printing software and have started to print them out. First, we're going to attach the brain to the Adreno Leonardo. This is the Wi-Fi chip. We need to make sure that this is closest to the power port. Next, we're going to attach the stepper motor controllers to the brain. Making sure that the adjustment screw is facing towards you, you need to place it on the board. And the same with the other one. Make sure that you don't you lose the heat sinks for the stepper controllers. Now we need to attach them onto the stepper controllers. Make sure that you firmly press it down onto the controller. Now we're going to attach the sensor with the accelerometer and the gyro to the Wi-Fi chip. You get the piece of double-sided tape, peel off both sides, Then stick it to the Wi-Fi chip. Make sure that the pins are facing you when you place it down. Now get the short wire to attach the accelerometer sensor to the brain. Make sure that the pink wire is on the third pin. Now we're going to attach the servo motor for the servo arm to the brain. Make sure that the orange wire is nearest to the power port. Now we're attaching the stepper motors for the wheels to the brain again. Connecting the wires so that the slots fit in. Make sure that the blue wire is closest to the power. This goes for both motors. If you find your motors going the wrong way, you can always switch around the cables. Now you're going to attach the battery box to the Adreno, plug it in into the power cord. You will need 8 AA batteries as they are not included. Now all we need to do is wait for the 3D printing to finish.
Now we have the second stage of the Butlins pro project. This is the section where we assemble all the 3D parts and then attach the electronics to it to complete the stages. First, we need to get the stepper motors. The stepper motors go on the base of the balance spot. This is the second floor for the balance spot. This is where the computers go, the Arduino goes, and the brain. The top floor is where the switch goes. These are the two side panels to hold it all together. These are the wheels. And now we need to put on the motors. Now we need to attach the stepper motors to the base. Make sure that the cables coming out are facing you. Place it in the slots neatly and then screw them in on the base. Now we are attaching the side panels to the second floor, like so. You'll need to put in four nuts for each hole on the side. Now we have to put the side panels and the second floor on top of the motors. It is very important that you make sure this large clip is on the opposite side of the cables, like this. Then you'll need to screw in the side panels to the motors. Now we're going to attach the Arduino to the second floor. Make sure that the power socket is facing the big clip. Tuck it into the clip first, and then at the back, you'll see that the nylon clips fit in perfectly. Now we're attaching the motors to the brain. Make sure that the blue cable is facing the power socket. This goes for both of the motors. Now we're going to put on the battle arm servo. First, make sure that it's slotted into the slot correctly. This is the side nearest to the servo. Placing a screw through the hole and putting a clip onto the servo. Now, on the side of the power supply, we're going to plug in the servo. Make sure that the orange or yellow cable is on the right, closest to the power supply. Now we have to put the strap on, which we should have done before we put the second floor on, but I found a way to make it go through. Pull it through, and then wiggle up on top of the motor. So it sits like that. Next, put in all the batteries. Make sure that the negative and positive are facing the correct ways. Put in the battery and wrap around the strap. Now we're attaching the top. Like before, insert the nuts and then screw it in. We're getting to the final stages of our balance bot project. Now we have to remove the switch, clip it nicely in the top, make sure it's in the off position, and then plug back in the wires. Next, we need to plug in the batteries to the battery slot. And now we need to attach the wheels. These amazing 3D printed wheels. 
To put on the tires, simply put it around, hold it, and stretch it around. It should fit on nicely, but it may need some glue in four spots around to keep it held on. You need to look at the flat piece on the stepper motor shaft and the flat piece on the wheel. Make sure that they are aligned, the wheel slots on nicely. Make sure not to push the wheels in too far. Leave a nice gap between the frame and the wheel. We haven't printed the barriers yet, but that's my next step. Right now, I want to test if it works. First, we need to lie it down. Then, switch it on. Make sure that you don't touch it while it's initially. Lift it up if it can't get out. Now it's ready. Now, after a hard day of work, I can get my balance bot to bring me a drink.